I saw a dead dog lying in the grass when I was young. She was an old bitch in life, just a pup in death. I remember seeing the first flies set on her eyes. How strange it was that they looked so alive and yet did not move. And that was the first moment that I wondered what this moment would feel like. James, you can't see it yet, can you? You are not alone. Captain. I'm sorry. For the short hauls, for the trouble I've caused, but most importantly for the disregard it seems I've shown you. The most important element of a healthy ship is trust. Trust between men. Trust between captain and crew. Without it, a ship is doomed. For the past few months, you and I have been on the trail of a prize so rich. The ship in question. It could upset the very nature of our world. Arga Dalima. Now with this cage securely in our possession. The largest Spanish treasure galleon in the Americas. We can begin our hunt. Five new Spanish dollars. Come on. I will see that prize is yours. I'm not just gonna make you rich. I'm not just gonna make you strong. I'm gonna make you the princess of the new world! Here she goes! Hard to starboard! Put the wind on the port quarter! Mr. Featherston, set the foresail! Trim as we alter course! What's happening? We're gonna get hit. That fight will be the fight of our lives. Make no mistake. But on the other side lies paradise. Yeah! Open the gun ports. I'll see you there. Fire. If we are to truly reach a moment where we might be finished with England, cleared away to make room for something else, there most certainly lies a dark moment between here and there. A moment of terror, where everything appears to be without hope. I know. But I cannot believe that there is a world. I'm sorry. There are no legacies in this life, are there? I'm sorry. No monuments. No history. <laughs> Just the water. I'm sorry. <laughs> it pays us. And then it claims us. It swallows us whole. Captain Flint is dead. As if we'd never been here at all. I see no way out of this. No matter what I do, it leads to the same outcome. And I wonder if it wouldn't be best just to accept that I have no choice in the matter. You're curious again. Ready to follow me through a door that is somehow less frightening, knowing I await you on the other side. And now, as it turns out, I miss you. I miss you too. Something else lies at the end of this road. Judgment. Not on that side, but on me. And the man that I've become in this entire endeavor hangs in the balance of that judgment. You can defend that man. There are good arguments in defense of him. Motive unclear. For some of his deeds. The intent. Perhaps for most of them. Apparently dark. But there are some things that Captain Flint has done that cannot be defended. Monstrous. And in that moment, you felt it. Felt what? Darkness. Hate. Disdain. Pride. Questioning what kind of man you are. Maybe you went too far. Maybe you didn't go far enough. Maybe you did it just right. The point is that while you were doing it, you heard a voice, a voice that sounded like reason, and there was reason to it, as the most compelling lies are comprised almost entirely of the truth. The first time I saw the world through your eyes. That's what it does. A world in which there is nothing left to lose. Cloaks itself or whatever it has to move you to action. And the more you deny its presence, the more powerful it gets. 
I don't know that I have any more lies left in me. The more likely it is to consume you entirely without you ever even knowing it was there. If you're not strong enough to do what needs to be done. I recognize the other thing. And I'll do it for you. It was rage. Now you have wormed your way from the heads of the men out there. But in my head, you're not welcome. I moved away from those things. I forgot it all. I wonder if the pardons are the victory. And that the most enlightened thing that I can do is sit still, accept what appears to be inevitable, and let this be the end of Captain Flint. You and I will sail to London together. You said Captain Flint would have to disappear for this plan to work. And when we arrive... Are you truly ready to let him go? You will stand up and you will tell your story. Did I ever tell you where that name came from? I hate to be the one to say this. Mr. Flint. My story. But is it possible we've missed the point of that story? What part of my story? All of it. I feared that someone born of such dark things would consume me were I not careful. It was as if a seed conjured that man out of nothing and then taken him back for some unknowable purpose. And I thought of that story. Am I ready to let him go? England takes whatever Whenever. What does it matter what happened then if we have no life now? However, it wants life. Because there is no life here. There is no joy Loves. here. There is no love here. What are you no talking life? about? They apologize. Spirits. Apologize? Who will you be apologizing to? To England. Home. They took everything from us. It has taken them from me. And then they call me a monster. I imagine that it has taken it from you. The moment I sign that pardon, I am suggesting that we help each other. I proclaim to the world. Start taking things back. This ends when I grant them my forgiveness, not the other way around. And it starts with NASA. I gave you my word, Joe I am pledged to defend the island with you. But my pledge to him began a long time before I ever knew your name. I don't care. They took my home. I can't walk away from that. The only question that matters is this. What do you suggest? Who are you? We remind them that they were right to be afraid. We are so close. So very close. What are we looking at? There is an unthinkable victory within our reach. That's all. And I will see this through by whatever means I have at my disposal. Well, lads, a few days over the horizon, which is waiting for us. In a few weeks' time, I will lead a pirate fleet of unprecedented strength over that horizon into a battle of unprecedented importance. Ready your guns! Full compliment! Good luck! Let's hug it, Captain. That battle will end with us taking mass out and beginning a revolution. Whatever's left, I cannot do it without you. The closer we get to the end of this journey, the more the contradictions will accumulate. Confusing issues we once thought were clear. At the end of the day, secrets among friends are the source of all good things gone wrong. We die alone. I suppose the good news is that's how we'll know we're finally getting somewhere interesting. Is that what we are now? That's just the... Friends. He is my friend, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, was it?